So which version of you is actually the real you? Welcome to the Dean Graziosi Show. All success starts right here. You know, we get so lost in being something for someone else. Do we really remember who we are? Answer that question honestly. Think about that. I mean, maybe you were somebody for your parents when you were younger. Uh, maybe you were someone for your teachers. Maybe you were someone for your first girlfriend, your first boyfriend. Maybe you're someone right now for your husband or your wife or, or your current situation with your parents. Or maybe you're someone for your boss. Maybe you're a certain someone at church on Sundays. And maybe you're another certain someone when the door is closed and no one's watching. So who the hell are you? I mean, what, what version of you is really you? And I want to, I want to, that's a thought provoking question on purpose because life is going by so fast. It's unbelievable. And I, I mean, at least for me, I don't know about you, but the last five years, oh my God, it's on hyperspeed. I, I would slow it down. My, my kids right now are, are as I'm sharing this, are, are nine and 11, like five minutes ago, there were babies. And, and that means in five minutes from now, they'll be graduating high school. And five minutes after that, they'll be, you know, getting married, having their own kids. So let me ask you, are you wasting any time being someone that's not really you? You see, we are these, and, and we all do it. Don't think as I say that, that I'm perfect and I'm just this oneness and per. No, uh, and I'm not. But I'm acknowledging it and I'm aware of it and I work on it. Because here's what I think. I think the ideal happiness, like we're all looking for happiness. We're all looking for more yay and less ah, right, in our lives. I think we can all agree that's true. But when you're being someone else for everybody else, are you really being true to the best version of you? See, we're someone in front of all these other people and we're someone if we're a boss or if we're an employee or any of that stuff, right? But then who's the person late at night when no one's around? Uh, who's the person when you're thinking and your mind's just going when when the ego's not there, when the outside influences aren't there, when maybe you're a little bit more vulnerable. Who is that person? You see, here's what I know. Here's what I believe the definition of success is. First, it's knowing what success means to you. I know I'm being successful when. I know I'm being successful when I'm spending time with my family. I know I'm being successful when I have complete control of my life. I know I'm being successful when I have freedom to make the choices I want. I, first off is knowing what success means to you. And, but I think there's another layer, like there's another level. And another, uh, the next level is I know I'm being successful when I know who I am and I'm just being that. Imagine being congruent in all areas of your life, everything like, your phone, you could leave it unlocked and open no matter where you go. If your boss was listening in or your employees were listening in or your business partner was listening in on every conversation of your life, you wouldn't care. If your spouse, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your parents were hearing what you said when no one was around. If your friends, then when you were with one group of set, set or one set of friends and you go with another group, if they could hear everything you'd say, it wouldn't matter. Imagine how successful, when I talk success, yes, I mean money, but I mean all the other pieces too. Imagine how successful we would be if we were just one version. There wasn't any hidden compartments. Do we all have secrets? Of course. I don't care who you are, unless maybe Mother Teresa. Uh, we all have secrets. We all have things that maybe we don't want everyone to know about. But if what if we could work? What if we could work over time to become so congruent that there's only one version of you, whether you're at church, whether you're at, at a bar dancing on a, on a table, whether you're uh, playing with the kids, you're at work, or you're on a date night. Imagine just being one person. Now, I thought about that today because I realized how many hats I've worn in my life. I remember taking on partners, you know, in my 20s because I needed the money. I, was, I didn't have any money. I wanted partners to go to another level. And I took on partners that I would not choose to be friends with right now that caused me so much stress and pain, but I did it because I became a different person with them so I could get the money. Now, did it help? Uh, maybe. I, I remember a lot of stressful days having the wrong partners. And what I realize now that if someone could have told me in my 20s, in my teens, that, you know what, screw everything. The world is ready 
for the best version of you. Not someone you emulate, not someone you watch on TV, not someone you think you have to be for different areas or different people. The world wants you. The universe wants you. God, whoever you believe in, wants you being the best version of you. Screw everything else. So what if you make the 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 decision today what if you declare today that over the next month the next 6 months the next year you are going to just work on being the best version of you so not this version and that version and my mom's version and my dad's version and all these other versions and a lot of times you know half of america comes from divorce right so you might have been one person from your parents one for your dad you might have been one person for your husband or wife or boyfriend and girlfriend and somebody else right so we learn to divide but i really think as we get older we're trying to put the pieces back together so what i'm saying is why not decide today why not decide and declare at this moment yes i'm talking about luck cuz i want you to hear this i don't want you just to be a, a a a bystander and listening i want you to hear what i'm saying you're fragmented so am i we all are we're trying to be too many things to too many people when it, when i believe with all of me especially at this age of my life that God, the universe, whatever you believe in, karma, just wants you to be one whole person, be the best version of you. And I would bet my life there's so much more gas in the tank. You have not reached your full potential. You're not even close. There's so much more for you. And more could be more time with the people you love. More could be getting touch, in touch with family members that you got distant from. More could be finding more happiness and joy. More could be finally taking up a hobby. More could be going to see movies. Whatever more means to you, it means it to you. So I'll end it with this. Think of all the different people you are. Decide who you really are. Soul search if you must. And then work on being the best congruent, full potential badass that you are. Have an awesome day. What's up? What's up? Hey, before you go, you need to watch these next few videos. They're absolute game changers. Hurry up and click right over here and watch them and I'll see you there.